Hi, today we're going to be doing our first methods of analysis uh, of DC circuit and the first topic that we're going to be starting with is source conversion. Now source conversion is used mainly for simplifying a circuit as with all the other methods of analysis techniques are used for. So source conversion is pretty easy, you just have to convert one source from the other, that is you can convert the voltage source to current source or vice versa. Now that depends upon what would make your circuit simp more simplified and more easier for you to calculate and find out whatever you are told to find out. So this is the main thing that you have to do. When a circuit is given in this format with the resistor in this way and the voltage source in this way, then you can convert, ignore this blue part, I mean everything beside this blue part, that is the RL resistor, ignore this first and then try to look at this one first. When the circuit is in this format, when um, RS, uh, when there is one resistor, RS, and this is the voltage source, then you can convert it into this format with the current source here and the voltage source here, and the current value would be find out, found out by I equals V by R. That is E by RS would give you the current at this point. And the direction of the current is according to the direction of the voltage source. Like this is when the current, when the voltage source in this way, that means the current flows from here to here, that is the current flows in this direction. So that's why the current, uh, the current source has the direction in this format. I mean, the arrow points towards the upward part. And RL is just any arbitrary circuit. You don't need to worry about this. I mean, our arbitrary resistor, you don't need to worry about this. You just need to worry about this resistor here. There is one resistor and one source. Whenever there is this one resistor and one source in this format, you can convert it from this format to this format and vice versa. All right, and another thing you should know about when while we're cal calculating the source conversion is that when there are multiple sources, same sources of uh, current or voltage, that time if the sources are aligned in this way, like uh, one is pointing downwards, one, uh, other is pointing upwards, other is pointing upwards. Now, if you want to combine and make it into one whole source, one whole current source, what you have to do is wh whichever is the bigger one, here it's eight, and these two are pointing in the same direction. So we add this whenever whenever the current source or the voltage source points in the same direction that time we have to add it up and when they're in the opposite like this one is here and this one is upwards and this one is downwards so we have to subtract it now first these two are uh, in the same direction so we add this 4 plus 2 is 6 and this is in the downwards direction this is 8 so 8 minus 6 is 2 now 8 is bigger that's why the uh, final direction is pointing downwards same with this one uh, this is uh, like these two are pointing in the same direction. This is in, this is going this way. I mean this voltage source the current is going uh, this way and also the, for this one the current is going this way. So we add this 6 plus 5 is 11 and well this one is going the opposite way. So 12 minus 11 is 1. So that's why 1 volt. Uh, one volt. And the final current direction would be this way because the 12 volt is bigger than the sum of these two voltages. All right, so let's get on with it. Let's start with this problem here. This is the uh, one that we have to simplify. We have to simplify the circuit in such a way that you have just one resistor left and one voltage source or current source. It's your wish. Okay, so let's simplify it. First, we can simplify it by, you know, like uh, doing the parallel parallel circuit, parallel circuit uh, conversion here. Three and six can be converted parallelly and can be done. Uh, and, and the total resistance that we get is two ohm. You can calculate it like three into six into 6 by 3 plus 6 will give you 2 ohm. So 2 ohm and the current we have is 5 ampere and, and the rest circuit remains the same. Now let's convert it further. Let's try to uh, simplify it. Now these, this is the current source here and this is the voltage source here. Like we can convert this one into a volt, a current source or this one into a voltage source. Uh, Any way that is that you want to do, I converted this one into a, a voltage source. So what we get is, get is the voltage source value will be V equals IR. So I is 5 ampere and R is 2, M, 2 ohm. So 5 into 2 is 10. So 10 volt. And the direction will be downwards. So this also the direction the current flows downwards. And uh, the other things, this, this, is two, this was the 2 ohm resistor. Like we're trying to follow this format. When you're doing the beginning, you might be confused. So it's better to keep these two uh, circuits drawn beforehand to check uh, that your conversion is correct or not. And then the two ohm resistor that we got, uh, that we had, we put it here. So, and then we uh, convert, I mean, we try to simplify it further. We uh, add these two, these are two, in, these two are in series. So we combine and we get six, oh, six ohm here. And this is the 10 volt resistor as usual and the 12 volt, uh, sorry, 10 volt voltage source and 12 volt voltage source and the other parts of the circuit. Now, again, now 
what we do is we try to convert this one. I mean, we have these two voltage sources here, right? So we can apply this this thing that we that we learned from here that we can convert these two voltage sources in, these three voltage sources into one voltage source. So same here, we could convert these two voltage sources into one voltage source. And well, 12 volt is bigger than 10 volt, so the direction will be in this. Uh, the current would flow in the right direction. So that's what we get is 2 volt, and then the 6 ohm as usual. It doesn't matter. You can put the 6 6 ohm resistor here too. Uh, so yeah. And then after that, we have the 8 ohm resistor and 4, uh, 4 ampere current current source. And then simplifying it further, we have the uh, we can convert either now now that we have such a simplified circuit. Now what we can do is we can convert either these two, I mean 4 ampere and 8 ohm. We can convert these two in a voltage source like this, or we can convert these two voltage source. I mean the this 6 ohm resistor and 2 2 volt voltage source. We can convert this into a current source, and then we can do the proper I mean we have to convert as the main point is we have to convert any either of them into the same voltage source so that one uh, so that both of these sources I mean into the same source so that both of these sources are similar so in this case what I did I just converted this voltage source into a current source so we have the similar we have similar sources now uh, and then we have uh, and simplifying it further what we have is this is 4 ampere and this is 1 by 3 ampere since 4 ampere is bigger, so 4 minus 1 by 3, and the direction, ultimate direction is downwards. So this is what you have. And 6 and 8, we just do parallel conversion. And 6 into 8 divided by 6 plus 8, we get 3.43. You just use your calculator. That's how you'll get this answer. And this is the final simplified circuit. So yeah, this is how you do source conversion to just simplify a circuit. If they were to, telling you to find, suppose, they told you that find the current in the 6 ohm, 6 ohm resistor. What you would do is you would just... First, convert these two current sources into one current source and you get 11 by 3 ampere current source. And you just apply the current divider rule. So current divider rule would give you 8 by 8 plus 6 into... We're trying to find the current in 6 ohm. So I 6 ohm equals this. Into the total, uh, the total current is 11 by 3. So that would be the... Uh, that would be how you would find out the current in 6 ohm register. So yeah, that's about it for source conversion. I hope you understood this example and don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you want more CST, I mean more tutorials on uh, electricity stuff and DC circuits and well I also have CS tutorials. I'm just branching out that is. So yeah, thank you. Uh, good luck.